do one quick flight. I want to see how long a battery lasts to do those sphere modes and how much. All right, guys, good morning, good morning. How's it going? Chris at Island Tech here. There was an update on the DJI Spark. I have a gig coming up. I just want to make sure the updates coincide with usability of the aircraft. Oh. The main thing I wanted to test out with the DJI Spark was the panoramic sphere mode that came out a couple days ago and I think that's really cool. So you can make little planets, VR kind of stuff. We're gonna go test that out down at the beach. From what I understand, it takes about 47 photos. I think one session uses about 10 to 20% battery life. So at most, I think you could, you know, to get out to some place and shoot and three shots before you have to come back. So I'm gonna be testing that out right now. You know, best practices when you do have an update, go test them out uh, prior to your gig. Beautiful, beautiful day, super sunny. Uh, it's about 80 degrees right now. It's a little bit north of Hilo, downtown Hilo. Um, you get some nice views. It's a good surfing beach, so if you ever come to Big Island, uh, go check it out. Uh, parking can be limited, so I'll be parking at the very top. Again, um, I think when you do sphere mode, you want to be at a certain altitude, uh, fairly high, so that you can kind of get a 360 view of everything. Oh, you can see there's uh, very limited parking right now. So just gonna do one quick flight. I wanna see how long a battery lasts to do those sphere modes and how much you can get for the panoramic panoramic sphere mode. Get this all situated prior to getting out there. Just makes it easier. And the key to flying all of this is uh, OTG cable. Prior to taking off, I wanna make sure I set all my parameters. Um, that I do wanna do this. Uh, pano mode so let's do that Instagram sunny photo shoot pano and this is the one that you want the bottom left corner and yeah let's take off now let's try this again take off Okay guys, I just did my first test flight with the panoramic uh, sphere mode with the DJI Spark. As with all your things, you kind of just want to pre-plan what you want to shoot ahead. You will already want to make sure you're in the panoramic flight mode. Uh, just to give you an idea, um, I went from 88 to 76% during my first uh, panoramic session. It does take 46 photos. It does suck up a lot of juice, I want to say 20% juice just uh, hovering there to do one panoramic mode so uh, I, I do advise you guys uh, if you're gonna do this make sure you guys have extra batteries let's take a look at the footage again once I get back to the house uh, first thing that we're gonna go dive into is the DJI app itself and then we're gonna go to the post-processing app that I use I'm not sure if this app is available it's called the Theta Plus app T H T H E T A plus um, that's the app that I'm going to use to pro post process. It's actually from a company called Rico. They make uh, small uh, 360 cameras. So I'm glad they made this free to use. Uh, and uh, let's not waste any more time and let's just dive into it. All right, guys, I just wanted to make sure I can retrieve the data. So let's go over here to this bottom right app here. What I want to point out is these ones with the little globe parts here. Those actually are the... Uh, panoramic sphere mode photos so what we're gonna do is sl select them and what, what's gonna happen is DJI is automatically gonna download them I do have the OTG cable hooked up so it should be a little bit faster um, it does take some time so let's uh, let's just get through those steps first oh sorry there's a total of 46 uh, photos that it's stitching together so this is it exported out this is the little planet mode that's cool um, straight off the bat though I want to point out right here you can see that the ocean is moving so obviously things aren't gonna line up but 
Uh, yeah, let's let's play around with this a little bit more. Let's go to the Google Play Store. Uh, if you've heard of this company, Recode, they actually make 3D cameras. It's a small portable one, and they've made this available to everybody. I'm not uh, paid by DJI or Theta or any other companies that uh, I'm featuring today. Again, these are just products that I use, have helped me a lot, um, at least figuring out uh, ease of use about sharing, especially this kind of panel of stuff. So let's just open that up. So when it, when it pulls you up, it'll bring you to these different options. I'm primarily just going to focus on this guy right here, the edit image. That's how you can edit these images you see in the background, this, um, this circle sphere. Uh, in animation, you can create little um, movies. And then I haven't played with this feature yet. So again, let's, uh, let's select the Im edit image and let's just go into the Go 4. Okay, before I dive in a little bit further, there's different ways. You can look at it. Uh, you can open up the feature using that straight tool. So let's just click on that. And this is more like a... It'll kind of give it that 3D approach, like if you had goggles on. The next one is flat, so it just lays everything out, kind of like a really wide panel. Already you can see the ocean and where it's stitched. Uh, it doesn't do a, hot, a great job just because ocean is moving, it's trying its best. You can see the grid lines here, but for the most part, I mean, for a quick, quick tool, um, I think it does a, a decent job. Okay, so let's look at the, this is the one that you want, the mirror planet. That's how you create those uh, those little planets and by pinching and whatnot, you should be able to zoom in and out. And then if you go up and down or left and right, um, what'll happen is that you can turn your little planet around and then you can also invert it so it, you're so this is this part is the sky and look now you're looking down at the ocean pretty cool stuff so I like the little planet look from this side um, and then finally the mirror ball that's you know those little spheres that you can pick up this isn't my favorite um, it's okay but again, let's look at the little planet because that's the one that um, I'm primarily interested in how I'm going to present my stuff. So let's let's spin this. Kind of want the kind of want the clouds to go this direction. Uh, let's just zoom in a little bit. Yep, yeah, I got it and that's what I wanted. So this is the Honolulu bridge there. As you can see, it's kind of dark. Um, so then now we click on this next, Oops. next we're just going to click on this next here and then just like any other uh, editing tool you're given options like in Instagram or similarly there's just a baseline image correction that you can do here so let's click on uh, let's do that you can bring up the image just slightly what I'd like to do is make it a little bit more flatter And then uh, highlights, I'm going to bring that down. I don't know why it does that in that way. Shadows, then I'm going to boost the shadows. Oh, just, just a little bit. Okay. And then color temp. Mm, give it a little bit of, I'm going to give it a little bit of warmth. Again, this tool isn't perfect. You can see all of the, uh, the little imperfections here when it glues stuff together. It obviously does something, it does better once you're, um, looking at something more stationary uh, and then I'm just gonna apply a filter on that I think that looks great let's try this uh, let's try Libra that looks good I like it so then you can now click the you can click the next button again and then uh, you can have it in different formats here uh, generally I like to keep it square so let's click on that try to Try to get the clouds in there. Next again, and now it's saving it. I'm gonna save to my gallery. Or you can post directly to those, but I like to do it separately. Save to gallery. I'm gonna keep it at the highest format. Okay, finish. And just like that, it's uh, already saved to the gallery. 
Um, here's some cool stuff here uh, with the animation. Um, same process, let's click on this and this. And it'll save a little movie of how you kind of want, want it to move. So it already has some preset uh, modes. As I, I wasn't moving my fingers at all. So that's how it'll, um, it'll save that image to go back and forth. Let's look at the different modes here. So this is kind of like on, on, on wrapping. And I think, yeah, you can't move anything. And then the sky. So it's going to kind of like roll in on itself. <sighs> face to face. So I guess this one is kind of like it bounces in. And then the food, I'm not sure what this food one is, but um, I like that effect. Oh, so it bounces around. I like that or the group one. I like. I think I like this one where it forms a planet. Oh, and then you can, you can also crop it. So I'll do square again. Let's go back here. I'll. I think I'm gonna save this one. So let's save. All right, guys. So it just finished downloading, and you can see this is the app. Um, I just glued everything together. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something today. Again, today we just went over the DJI Spark panel mode as well as the workflow to processing those photos. Um, like I said, DJI app and the Theta Plus uh, 2, um, it's it's pretty straightforward. You can do this all on your mobile phone. Uh, my purpose of using the Spark again is just to, it's just a fun fly toy, get a decent to great image and you know share it right on the fly versus having to go to Photoshop, fix all of this. Um, I just want to share it to you right away. For those of you guys who do have the Spark or do any 360 kind of photos or things of that nature, you know, what app do you guys use? What camera do you guys use? I'm fairly new into the whole 360 imagery. It's, I mean, it's always intrigued me. Leave a comment below. I'd love to know uh, a little bit more about that. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, for those of you guys who've been following me, thank you, thank you very much for all the support. Before I sign off, guys, just remember, fly safe, be safe, mahalo plenty.